notice the cars and the people constantly on the move in countless numbers. Look around and witness inevitable change, for nothing is ever set in stone. Islam has traveled and made its way here. It has been domesticated and Americanized. These structures do not help us stand out, but instead help to blend our faith and our character among society. How do we become better people without ever realizing it? The answer isn't just the modest one. The answer is modesty. We are young, and the truth is we do not listen to our elders. It is an obligation for us to build our character. And if we cannot change on our own, then we must let our peers, our friends, brothers, and sisters help us better understand modesty and its significance. My name is Abdel Kamara. My name is Wahaj Muhammad. My name is Noreen Khan. My name is Amin Mohammed. My name is Shiki Bazani Hussain. My name is Khadija Tofiq. My name is Hassan Fai. My name is Aruba Khan. My name is Saad Tofiq. And I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from Marietta. From Hyderabad, India. Indianapolis. I am from Gambia. I'm from Queens, New York. Originally from Guinea. From London, England. I'm from Marietta, Georgia. Modesty to me. To me, modesty is. Modesty means to me doing just the right amount. Basically, it's the middle ground. You're not too extravagant. And on the other hand, you're not to lower yourself too much. Modesty is someone who does present themselves in a decent manner, but they don't find themselves to be above others because of that. Someone who tries their best not to be a bad person. Modesty is not to be vain about your positive attributes just because everyone has their ups and downs. And so even if you're good in one area, it doesn't mean that you're good in the other. In general, for Muslims, I feel like Muslims should be modest in everything, in their uh, speech, in their thoughts, what they eat, what they drink, um, you know, how they act. All of these actions should be modest. To me, modesty means respect, self-respect. In essence, the um, opposite of being extravagant. Some people, you know, they might like wear like the flashiest clothes just to show off and stuff like that, or they might talk the loudest and make a scene. That's, you know, that's that's one that's one extreme. They don't try to go out there and drink. They don't try to go out there and do all the haram stuff. But living in a society that overlooks the good and concentrates on the bad of Islam, as a Muslim, what is the purpose of being modest? The purpose of modesty is um, to build character. Allah told us to be modest in the Quran, so we have to be modest. Um, Rasulullah ordered us to be modest. Of our beloved Nabi we know that he was modest in everything that he did. Our goal as Muslims is to uh, strive to follow the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad. The purpose of modesty is to gain self respect. The purpose of modesty, we, why we are in modest in everything we do, in our speech, in our actions, in our thoughts, is because Allah SWT has commanded Muslims to be modest. Modesty is a part of Islam. The purpose of modesty is to show that you are a good person. That's how you see like the, the nur, the light of somebody, is their modesty. The way that you'll see the, the nur in anybody is if they, first of all, they do the five pillars of Islam, and they abstain from doing bad things, and if they follow the sunnah, all the sunnah, no sunnah will ever take you in the wrong path. You get closer to your religion, at the same time as being a better person in the eyes of other people. So before us youth notice the immodesty of others, let us first look within ourselves. Let us find the strength to actually listen to our brothers and sisters. So here is a word of advice to all who truly want to change. I think my advice to um, younger people that want to become more decent, or they should be more decent, is to surround themselves with fellow Muslims. Not to say that all their friends should be Muslim, but they should have Muslim friends they can go to. Like there's basically, there's three groups. There's the people that's, they're just out there, they're just trying to make a scene. There's the people that's naturally modest. Then there's the people that they try to add attention to their modesty. But you know, it's a saying that if you're aware of your own humility, you're actually proud. If you just be you, follow follow that um, that God-given inclination that we all have to follow the uh, middle path. Do you, when you go outside, are you looking at, uh, are, you, are you dressing or are you tr trying to act so other people can see you and how other people uh, look at you? Are you doing this for yourself and you're doing this to please Allah? Islam itself teaches us how to have self-respect for our own selves before having respect for others. So it has to start from within. 
make sure that when you are being modest in your food and your uh, your clothing, your actions, all of these things, uh, make sure that you know uh, it's make it, it'll be easier for you to be modest if you realize that you're doing this for less than time and you're not doing it so that you look cool. A person that's not modest, everyone knows it. But a person that's modest, he he doesn't even think of it as, like I'm being modest. Honestly, to be modest is you have to just. You know, realize who you are, realize where you're at in life. To start off uh, is, is just looking at yourself, reevaluating uh, your own identity. Knowing yourself, knowing, um, basically being aware of your condition. I think that's the first step to anything you do in life, basically. Even if you're good looking, you're a little fade. If you're um, able to do something, if you're strong, if you're fast, if you're smart, your memory will fade, your strength will fade. So I mean, there's no point in showing it because one day it's gonna go. So we have to rebuild ourselves before we can rebuild the world. To truly know ourselves and our purpose, we must first get rid of our self-dishonesty. For someone has to keep the fire ablaze of our lantern of modesty. Sun is setting Cause I'm not who I used to be